Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective for whoever, whenever, wherever. If you have stars and planets in your chart, this might be a reading for you. We have been receiving a level three geomagnetic storm. That's a KP7. That means that the auroras went all the way down past the 45th latitude. If you're in Europe right now, or if you're in Siberia, you might be experiencing a beautiful show. Of course, here in Michigan, where I live, it's pouring rain because that's how it, how it goes. That's uh, Murphy's Law, right? Okay, so um, we're just keeping it casual again. Let's... Uh, we're going to use the Gregory Scott Tarot, same things that we used yesterday. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome to our uh, our little tribe. If you're a regular tribe member, hello. I love you guys. We had great conversations yesterday. You know, little things here and there. They really make a big difference, right? All right, spirit for the collective today what messages would you like to tell us for today four of cups four of cups maybe we're being offered something we don't want maybe we're feeling a little bored a little apathetic yeah we're tired of uh, arguing five of wands in the reverse page of cups two of cups in the reverse three of cups in the reverse three of pentacles page of swords upside down Page of Wands upside down. High Priestess. Yeah, we might be trying to keep some things to ourselves, right? Just like um, there could have been something someone was offered something and they didn't, they, it isn't what they wanted, right? Or they didn't like what they saw. Page of Swords in the reverse, Two of Cups in the reverse. There were things that they didn't like. Um, it, it's almost like there's like this spying energy and it could have been people in the community, right? Who are spying on um, two other people. We have two, we have three pages here. Three pages is um, intense. It's very new energy. It's a lot of messages. It could be very immature. Let's look in our three pages is mm, parties, social get togethers. Wow. Maybe avoiding that. Here's this judgment in reverse, three of cups in reverse, not returning to something, right? Getting on our way. I'm just going to say whatever it was that was happening, there's like this avoidance of conflict because it isn't what we're interested in. And there might be an apology and saying like, I'm, I'm going to go um, back to my work, right? Like looking at something and understanding really what the argument was about, seeing the community or the collective involved um, for kind of where they're at, right? And rising above that, the mastery of rising above that and maybe keeping some of this to ourselves, right? Like seeing some things, you, you have page of, page of swords in reverse, page of wands in reverse with this high priestess, you know, and I just saw 313. So there could be um, some things that we are, Keeping to ourselves, maybe reserving judgment, maybe reserving. I mean, this is this is like lack of. Um, I would say like lack of communication, but this is definitely lack of announcement when you have judgment in reverse and page of wands in the reverse. It's so like watching from behind the scenes and um, realizing what we're seeing and think you know like this isn't this, what I'm seeing. Um, isn't what I'm interested in bringing into my work, right? Wow, nine of vessels in reverse again, because it, it's, it's not fulfilling wishes. And there could be some sort of indulgence when we get um, three of cups in reverse and nine of cups in reverse, a little, little over drinky there, or whatever else um, we might be or someone else might be indulging in there could be like, we don't, we don't, indulge in the same ways as this uh, group of people because that forces them into an unhealthy state right that's the three of cups in the reverse i mean page of swords in reverse. this is a lot of like five of wands in reverse like i'm i'm super not interested in the immaturity of these arguments of the competition of these arguments and it's causing a division between you and others especially maybe even one other person here and so like there's this offering of apology coming through um and really wanting to work on some things, but at the same time, keeping some things to ourselves. Maybe we're apologizing to ourselves as we return to work, right? Um, because we get the Ace of Pentacles here now as well, right? A small offer, something tangible, really, um, there's, there's that, oh yeah, here we go. A bunch of cards flip over and the one that's on top is the Ace of Swords. That's the truth. 
that's the truth. Here we get the Page of Swords in the reverse again. Page of Swords in the reverse again. Right. I don't want... I don't like what I see and I don't want people spying. We don't want people looking in on business that like mind your own business, right? Like I saw the um, Ben Franklin coin yesterday from like 17, I would say like 1786 or something like this. He made this coin and it's awesome. It's got a sundial on it and it says Fergugio, which means um, to like, to like abandon, to run away from right? And then it says, mind your business on the bottom. And right now, when we say mind your business, it's like, mind your own business. But what he meant was pay attention to your business, mind your business, keep, keep, keep your business intact, keep your business whole. Because remember, from day one, this country was based in capitalism, right? This country was based in business, not um, anything else, right? And so that's that reminder here, ace of coins, ace of swords, three of pentacles, uh, high priestess trade secrets you know best you know what you're doing it's almost like there's this whole like thing going on in the background that's really distracting and that's why you don't want it because you know that there's something real and tangible that you need to be working on and you're kind of keeping that to yourself you don't want the peanut gallery getting all involved in what you're doing here right four of coins in reverse knight of swords in the reverse letting go of this impulsive uh this need for impulsive action Right. And really listening to what people are saying when those messages are coming in, when people are communicating things, maybe only half truths, maybe they um, immature. Right. Maybe they don't have the full message. Maybe they got the beginning of the story, but they didn't get the middle and the end. Right. They didn't get all the details that were pertinent. Right. Eight of vessels walking away from that because there are things that we need to do here. There are things that we need to do. I kind of love that the only page on the board that's upright is the page of cups because there is like a, a true sentimental offering. There is a true um, like heartfelt wish, right? A heartfelt sentiment that we're putting into something. And it's almost like I can't get this done with all of this chaos around me in the background. So looking at the truth of things, looking at where we really, truly, truly want to be going, what we need to be doing next. Um, that's really gonna that's really gonna clarify some things for us right it's like maybe maybe these people or this situation was looking in on you and judging you but you were observing this um i'm not feeling like you were spying on anything or anybody but some of these things some of uh, these behaviors are pretty blatant right and it's like it's not even worth it um to get involved in things like this because these people take the information and just blurt it out everywhere maybe um you know loose lips i hear loose lips sink ships right and honesty comes from um wine and children Right. So here we go with all these pages and this overindulgence, this immaturity. Right. And um, spreading things that might be partial truths, like part of the truth, but not enough of the whole truth um, to really be significant. It's actually kind of damaging or just uh, like unpurposeful. So we're kind of letting letting go of that. Right. And going toward these aces, just keeping that to ourselves. Keeping <laughs> interesting because um they both came out in the reverse but we're like keeping that to ourselves and then we go share your thoughts who's sharing what thoughts and then i can't help but notice it's like this dragon and half of him is green and half of him is yellow and those are those half truths we're just going to put him right up here by this page of swords in reverse and maybe that's what it is this this page of cups is like letting that sentimentality be offered right um and maybe just i would say like cutting this off there's this feeling of this it's like embrace the dark you know sharing your thoughts about embracing the dark well sometimes we do need to obviously embrace our shadow in order to find balance right we're like the shadow is going to follow us around and it's going to keep um, getting into everything affecting everything shading over everything unless we address it and we're like hey shadow how are you i see you there you know, acknowledge it, embrace it, give it a hug, and then let it fall behind you. Walk toward the light. Let that shadow fall behind you. Um, rather than embracing it to the point where we're indulging in it along with the rest of this. Uh, I can't 
hearing menagerie. What are you guys doing? Who are this? Keep keep going. Keep keep going. Right. Time to reflect. There's that high priestess energy, and getting to work on things. Changes changes unavoidable. Change is unavoidable. Changes aren't permanent, but change is, right? We always say that, Neil Pert from Rush, but that's been a known truth. The truth is here. It's like this revelation, right? This revealing of what's actually going on and letting go of the um, impulsivity, letting go of um, communities and people and um areas right this like like i say communities because it could be anything it could be your work community it could be your social community it could be a club that you belong in it could be your family right it could be um some sort of organization but it's it's like a it's a it's a social group that um might be like judging you for a partnership that you've taken on or they might be showing you that um that they're really shallow that they're really immature, that you're, you're, you know, it's really like showing you that you're like, you're in the upright, you're kind of say like you're above this, but you're beyond it, right? You're walking beyond it, you're closer to the light, further out, you know, and your shadow is kind of like stretching long behind you. And these guys are kind of just sitting there in the shade of it. And it's really like, because I say like rising above it, because look at this four of cups, he's being lifted up out of it by all of these birds, by all of this information, these fairies, right? These helper fairies coming in um, to, to show you the way. And it's like, there is um, more there is more for you and you just keep working on it again with this, this three of cups or the um, three of cups next to the three of pentacles, right? Creativity. And it's almost like while you're creating this one thing, these people are over here using their creative powers to create a mess right? because maybe they, I just heard they don't know any better. Forgive them. They don't know any better, but you do. High priestess. Death. Big changes, big changes. Angel trumpet. Like that's like this. Uh, it's Pluto and Mars. Very interesting, right? Uh, that's the tower. It says death here, but Pluto and Mars is uh, Scorpio and Aries, and Scorpio and Aries are the tower and the death card, right? The angel's trumpet. Here we go with that page of wands. Here we go with that judgment card. Those are the call. That's the trumpet. That's Archangel Gabriel with this with his announcements and them not being made. And here's this trumpet flower, right? Angel's trumpet, because it's showing you that um, these changes are not only unavoidable, not only necessary, but they're also um, irrevocable. Right? Once we see it, we can't unsee it. Once we start moving forward, we, we, we aren't going to and can't go back blessing. We're headed toward our blessings, and this is a blessing to you and to them. Because um, oftentimes when we're doing well or when we're in a space that others um, wish they could be in, don't understand how we got to it, right, want for themselves, rather than be inspired, many times people sink into their own um, like lessening of self-worth like well I can't do that, well what makes them so special, whatever crap is going through their brains, right, whatever crap is going through their heart, and it really has nothing to do with the person who's succeeding it has nothing to do with you it's their insecurities shining a light, and when you get a bunch of people together who have similar insecurities and similar um, inferiority complexes, they, it's they, like people love to get together and hate someone else right nothing brings people together like a common en enemy um but the the enmity of it is within themselves it isn't within you so we want you to keep going keep succeeding you know and if people are paying attention to what you're doing and talking trash in the background let them watch let them talk all right, because what's actually happening is they're revealing to themselves and to others around them who they actually are, where they're actually standing. And it isn't a reflection of you as much as it is a reflection of them. Right. And your truth is here. Your truth is here. Your hard work is here. Bringing in the ducats, bringing in the honesty, bringing in the truth, the ace of swords here to cut away any of this BS in the background and let it sit in the background. And here we have a sage, the blessing. And we started this reading with sage and I just saw one, four, four. Right. So allow those blessings to come in, allow things that need to go 
go, right? And the transformation will occur. And here we get love. There's that page of cups. Love is here. I just heard it's not just self-love, right? They're talking trash about something that's going on between you and someone else, two of cups, some sort of soulmate energy, right? That might not be on the up and up right at the moment. And there is this offering here to that. And there could be um, real truthful truthful expression coming in real love coming in for you change is unavoidable but it might be that the person or people in this group need to be uh, extricated in and of themselves from this mentality from this behavior from this social circle and you moving toward your goals your dreams and your hard work is kind of like leaving the door open for them to exit if they need to and there could just be that trail of love that you're leaving behind you open the door and the light comes through and all of a sudden they can go toward it too if they choose to right you're offering them that blessing and I'm I'm seeing this this little trail going back into this void here and then I'm seeing like this spiral here in this blessing it's almost like that portal that we're going through and when we come out on the other side there's love there peaceful warrior the badger spirit not not wanting to engage in the fight, right? We fight the good fight by carrying on with our with our work, with our blessings, by letting go of these things, by walking toward what's healthy for us, right? Peaceful warrior, milk thistle, you know, shining the light on that. And then we get valerian and it says acceptance. And if you ever um, have taken valerian, you know that it's, it's the sleeping aid, right? It helps us relax. It helps us get into a state of sleep consciousness so that we can go into REM and actually dream, right? This is, it says Neptune, acceptance. Really, this is how it is and this is what needs to be done. And I'm moving on and moving forward. Higher consciousness. I love that. Go to cult. Go to Cola. Go to Cola. It's bringing us to a place of higher consciousness. Understanding all this and its necessity. Why is it needed? Purity. On the bottom, Calendula, Calendula, 1717. Right at that moment there. Bringing us back to the one. Back to the one. All right. We're going to get a... Gonna get to know them. It's too many. I just please can we just have one? Can we just have one that'll give us some guidance for this? Right now, strafe, blackthorn, the letter S in the upright number 14. This is the OM right here. They look like um, cross hatching, they look like dash marks. Northern Hemisphere, September 5th through October 2nd. Southern Hemisphere, March 5th through April 2nd. Totems, Grim Reaper, Scapegoat, Vulture. This is the same one that we got a few days ago. And here we go with this death card with the Grim Reaper. Right in the scapegoat, people like looking at uh, looking at what you're doing with vengeance and jealousy and insecurity, as opposed to um, looking at what they're doing. You're the scapegoat for their failures because you're successful, and there's so there's got to be something that they that they within them the vulture right that they have to like pick off. And what you're doing right now is more um, of that like cleaning of cleaning of the space, moving through it, moving past it, you know, like you're not cleaning up everybody else's messes. You're washing like page of cups, like washing yourself free from it, right? Protection, boundaries, fate, strife, negate, negation, outside influences, disruption, learning from challenges, drawing on spiritual strength, new direction or opportunity renewal. Strafe Black Blackthorn shares the 12th illumination with the reed, but represents different themes and energies. Blackthorn's main question is this, how do we deal with seemingly negative situations? Do we see them as purposeful? 
Does it matter how we approach them? A difficult, disruptive period often marks the beginning of a necessary deep change. We face the death of another year of life as we approach the winter. This tree gives us clues as to how best get through difficult times and hard challenges. Blackthorn advises us to make ad to make adversarial forces our allies. The OM for Blackthorn is strafe, the letters S, 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 T, and Z, right? Um, when you get Blackthorn in a reading, you are in need of protection. Energetically, the spike-like thorns of this tree can help, especially when you visualize a Blackthorn thicket springing up around you to shield you. This tree can help you set clear, strong boundaries about what and whom you let in and what and whom you do not. Although you may not have a choice about what is happening in your life, you do have a choice about how you relate to any challenges. Drawing this tree can remind you to choose the equanimity that will help you move through these difficult times. If you are in a process of growing your character, if you are never challenged, you are unlikely to grow. For this reason, you can look at the opposition and adversarial forces as allies. Difficulties are teachers, and negative situations bring lessons to learn. When one one door closes, another opens. There's that portal, right? That portal of blessing from the death card to the sage card, right? Um, when you get Blackthorn in a reading, you are being told that this is a time of heavy duty changes. In order to grow, you are asked to let go of people and situations for a four of pentacles in the reverse, as well as self-defeating beliefs and attitudes, knight of swords in reverse. You might not be able to change others or the situation you are in, but you can change yourself. It is a time to let go of the need for revenge or lashing out or destructive behaviors towards your self or others. Let go of animosity, judgment, and resentment. Let go of habits that are not working for you. Ask your guides for spiritual and uh, support and strength. They're here for you and will answer your need. They cannot help you without your invitation though, as they will never interfere with your free will. Message. I am the strong and impenetrable Blackthorn. I challenge you to see any difficulty you may be experiencing as an opportunity to let go of a pattern that is harmful to you or is holding you back from growth and maturity. Maturity. You may resist, but the sooner you look to your own attitudes and beliefs, the sooner you can get on with your life. When you run into trouble, look into your mind, heart, and soul. Put your attention on what you're learning and what is required of you. Seek the higher road. Apply patience and be kind to yourself and others. Breathe deeply and know that this too shall pass. I thank you, Spirit. <laughs> that was the that was the perfect message for this reading. I hope that was helpful to you. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thanks for coming back and seeing us again next time. Bye.